security researcher says DirecTV Hard.R can be easily hacked. Image, Connect, CBS Interactive. Home signed up to AT&T's DirecTV service may be inadvertently running hardware that can be easily hacked, according to a security researcher. An easily exploitable security flaw was found in the wireless video bridge that ships with DirecTV, which lets laptops, tablets, and phones connect with the main Genie digital video recorder. Because the wireless video bridge, manufactured by Linksys, isn't protected by a login page, anyone with access to the device could obtain sensitive information about the device. Trend Micro's Ricky Lashi, who discovered the flaw, said the device was spewing out diagnostic data about the bridge, including information on connected clients, running processes, and the Wi-Fi protected setup passcode. Loshi said in a write-up of the bug seen by ZDNet prior to publication that the device could accept commands as the root user, effectively granting him the highest level of access on the device. With root access, an attacker can steal data or lock up devices. Loshi said that one of the biggest risks to home users is from botnets, in which hackers break into internet-connected devices to launch distributed denial-of-service attacks, knocking sites and services offline. It literally took 30 seconds of looking at this device to find and verify an unauthenticated remote root command injection vulnerability, said Loshi. The vendors involved here should have had some form of secure development to prevent bugs like this from shipping. Direct TV owned by AT&T, said earlier this month that it has more than a million customers. He said that Trend Micro's ZDI initiative privately disclosed the vulnerability to Linksys in June, but the device maker had ceased being responsive. We have provided the firmware fix to DirecTV, and they are working to expedite software updates to the affected equipment, said a Linksys spokesperson. We asked AT&T, which owns DirecTV when the company will provide a software fix, but a spokesperson did not respond by the time of publication. If that changes, we will update. In the meantime, Loshi said users can protect themselves by limiting the devices that interact with the affected wireless video bridge. Contact me securely Zach Whitaker can be reached securely on Signal and WhatsApp as 646 755 to 8849 and his PGP fingerprint for email is 4D0E92F2E36AEC51DAE5D97CB8C15FIEB6CE5.